eight men have been chosen to compete for the most coveted prize in the full house. Who is going to walk away with that gold? Who is going to take their first step into a world of new beginnings? Welcome to episode one, New Beginnings. This is our inaugural show. Ninkeso's Full House Wrestling is soon to be underway. We have eight competitors in this competition. This is how the draw went down and who will be facing who in round one. The first two names drawn out the hat will see the Earl of Excellence, Robert Rochester Rose, taking on the professional pirate, Captain Clothesline. Second up, we have the mathematical genius, Fentos, taking on the unpredictable, Guacamole. Our third match, LT Mercer, will be taking on El Gran Queso. And finally, we have the monster Snare, taking on Salsa. Who is going to walk out victorious out of these eight men? Let's go to inside and find out. So you join us here for our first match in episode one, New Beginnings. And what a fitting match this is. We've got the Earl of Excellence, Robert Rochester Rose, who debuted on episode one of our main shows way back, way back when. And he was also in the first ever match where he took on Drew Tayton. Tonight, he will be taking on the professional pirate, Captain Clothesline. You could be a doctor, or perhaps a financier. It's a hard battle here for the captain. He's going up against a much, much bigger man. But I've not seen anyone more determined than the captain clothesline. Here we go. We've got Gemma, the, Gemma in the refereeing corner there. And we are off. Rob Rose in the blue corner. Captain clothesline in. Oh, my God. Rob Rose straight to the eyes. Big European uppercut. I think that took Captain Clothesline off guard there. But Captain Clothesline comes back with a big drop kick. Sending Rob Rose out to the floor. Slides back in. They grapple up. Oh, big chops. I'm not sure that's a good, good plan for Captain Clothesline to trade blows with the big guy. Oh, big elbow to the back. Nice little single leg takedown. Doesn't capitalise though. Another chop. Captain Clothesline could live to regret those. Oh, fingers to the eyes. Why is Gemma letting this happen? Big whip off into the corner. Knows not to follow in too fast. Nice little shoulder throw there into a reverse chin lock. It's too early to get a submission now. That's just a wearing down move. Oh, he's going for it already. He's got the captain's hook in there. But Earl of Excellence is too strong and gets out. Big elbow to the back. I'm actually quite surprised at how well Captain Clothesline is doing against the big man. So lock up again, whips off, slides through the legs. Oh, but gets countered. So they lock up again, whips him into the corner. Is he going to move in? No, he's waiting for the big guy to come out. The big guy misses a single leg takedown, goes into a headlock. Again, you've got to think that's just more annoying than anything. Another chop. Another chop. Rob Rose's chest is turning red here as he drives Captain Clothesline's knee into the mat. Ooh, another chop. Keeps missing. I don't think Rob Rose wants to take any more of those. Stamping on the captain. Oh, captain gets a big hit. They're trading blows. Who's coming out on top here? Surely. Oh, it's Captain Clothesline. Off the ropes. Drops an elbow onto the back of the head. Surely he should have gone for a cover. Went for a cutter but missed. They lock up again. Another knife edge chop. Oh, a couple of big rib shots there. Earl of Excellence is down. Caps oh, just another finger to the eye. As Rob Rose starts working on that arm. Oh, Captain's got him up. Spins him round for a cutter. Surely that could be it. Still doesn't go for the cover though. Rob Rose just throws him off there. Oh, big guillotine leg drop. 
Rob Rose is out on his feet. Gets whipped into the corner. Misses the cutter. Misses again. Oh, reversal. And a cutter in the corner. Too close to the ropes, though. Needs to move him away. Big cutter. How can Rob Rose be taking this much punishment? You've got to be thinking, the captain clothesline was an underdog coming in here. Oh, Rob Rose is just mounted. He is pummeling the, pummeling the captain there. And that is the difference with size makes. But it's a reversal. Reverse to Brain Buster. Captain Clothesline is back in control. Rob Rose could not get going in this match. And you've got to think, the longer this match goes, the conditioning of Rob Rose is going to get called into question. But then again, all he needs is that one big hit. Another cutter. Surely that has to be it. Single leg takedown. Oh, the captain reverses. Can he get a submission? No, Rob, Rob Rose gets to the ropes. And he's also up on his feet first. Locking up. Oh, a neck, break, neck breaker there. Is that it? Goes for the roll up. Gemma comes in. Just a one count, not even close. Oh, Rob Rose blocks that, then comes with a knife edge chop to his own, into the corner. Oh, gets a boot to the stomach, though. Another neck breaker. What's going to happen here? Oh, big European. The captain's down, Rob Rose off the ropes, a big splash into the cover. Oh, a two count. That must have taken the wind out of the captain there. He nearly went down for three. Rob Rose off the ropes. Big line there. Picks him up again. Goes for the lock up. The captain comes back with a knife edge chop. But a fisherman suplex. Could this be it? 2.9. That is as close as it gets without the victory happening. Both men are fatigued now. Oh, Rob Rose trying to pin with his foot. Nearly gets the cover. How humiliating would that have been for the captain? Oh, Russian leg sweep reversal. Both men have had a had a big, big stuffing knocked out of them. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm that sort of in, into this match. A big European. Both men are fatigued now. They've put so much into this match already. Oh, the captain gets him up, spins him round for a stunner. But he doesn't let him rest, he gets him up again. But Rob Rose reverses into the fisherman. Too close to the ropes, though. They lock up. Oh, it's the, it's the captain's hook. That's it, that's it. Captain Clothesline gets the upset victory and defeats the Earl of Excellence with the captain's hook there. I honestly did not think that is the result we were going to see today. The captain managed to get that captain's hook and picked up the victory over the bigger man, Robert Rochester Rose. So that means the professional pirate, Captain Clothesline, will be advancing through to round two and he will face the winner of our next match. Let's head down to ringside. So our second match here today, we'll see the mathematical genius, Ventos, taking on the unorthodox, Guacamole. The mind of Fentos is calculating, thinks of every situation that could happen into that ring and will account for it. He's going to be a hard, hard opponent here for Guacamole. And again, the size difference in this match. We thought it was a big size difference last match. This time, though, we've got the near seven foot Fentos taking on the junior weight Guacamole. Obviously, Guacamole is one half of the Nachos. Will we see Salsa here today? Who knows? But Guacamole, definitely a fan favourite here. Again, Gemma is the referee in. As we begin, Fentos fighting out the blue corner. Guacamole fighting out of the red corner. Test of strength. Surely that's a ridiculous thing for Guacamole to attempt. And obviously, Fentosaurus just overpowers the smaller guy. Oh, Guacamole uses his magic spell. That's one thing that Fentasaurus really can't account for. He's being caught up in that hypnotic gaze. But just comes in with a big elbow and just drops a big knee to the back of Guacamole's head. 
Oh, a big stomach punch. I'm not... Oh, it's Snapmare Takeover. But Guacamole does not capitalize. As they lock up again, just a big slam there. And just a claw to the face. Can Guac get out? Well, this could be a very, very quick match here. Oh, Guacamole goes in but misses. And again, just another claw to the face. Fentasaurus or Fentos, as he is known in the world of wrestling. He is only known as Fentasaurus on Ninkeso's Twitch channel. Where I stream regularly, pop on over. Twitch.tv slash Ninkeso. But anyway, Fentos, the much bigger guy here, just overpowering Guac. Guac can easily use his speed. Another claw hold into the stomach, but too close to the ropes. So they lock up again. Oh, just Fentos just boots down Guacamole. Jumps on, but surely that's too close to the ropes again. For a guy that calculates every move, Fentos really has got some bad ring positioning here today. Guacamole managing to fire up a little bit, but can't capitalize. Oh, some big forearm blows. Just, just puts Guacamole back on the floor. Another cover. Is that it? No, just a one count. Say what you will about Guacamole. He's small, but he has a lot of fight in him. So they lock up again. Oh, a nice little takedown there. Guacamole comes back with an elbow. You've got to think that's more just annoying for the big man rather than painful. Oh, they're exchanging blows. This is not what Guacamole wants to do. Guacamole down, but the big guy stumbles as well. Goes back to that claw hold. Ventos really wants to make the little man tap. I think he's trying to send a message. Stop playing with the big boys here. Again, that hypnotic gaze. Stops Ventos from capitalizing. Oh, run up Moonsault, but it's too close to the corner. That was a lovely move there by Guacamole as he goes for a snapmare takedown. But that is what the little guy has to do. He has to use his speed. He has to hit these high risk maneuvers to stand any chance. And he nearly gets a three count there. Oh, a bulldog reversal. Ventos is in trouble. Big clubbing blow to the back, though. Picks the little man up as they lock up again. Just a big forearm blow. So dragged him into the ring. Oh, just chops him while he's sitting down. The humiliation there. The contempt. But again, with that hypnotic gaze from Guacamole. But he's too tired to capitalize. It's just giving him a little breather. Have he flips out of the brain buster hits with a drop kick but the big guy just takes it and doesn't even stumble as he comes in with a smashing lariat surely that has to be it he's signaling for the end now oh but guacamole just drops him on his head where did guacamole find the strength to do that oh the big guy comes with a backbreaker and slams him down was that move too little too late but you've got to think, Fentos is definitely stunned now. Oh, he comes in. He flips him into the pin. One, two. So close. That was so close. A three count there for Guacamole. He tries to fire up, but Fentos just boots him down. <laughs> DDT. Guacamole is hitting some big, big moves. But he just can't seem to keep the big guy down. He is so tired. He can't capitalize. Ventos whips him in. Another big lariat. He's signaling again for the end. So he lifts him up. Lock up. He's going up high. Into a... Oh, big, big drop down there. Surely he just needs to cover him now. Guacamole desperately trying to fight back with some European uppercuts there. But again, he's so tired. He just can't capitalize. He can create these openings. Oh, and he just gets suplexed to the floor. Ventos is following it up. This is not good for Guacamole. Guacamole is now in a fight for his life on the floor. Gemma's got the right thing there with the count going. Again with that hypnotic gaze. They lock up. Oh, this is big bulldog on the outside. Is this going to be enough for Guacamole? Ventos is stunned, but easily gets back in before the count's up. Another big just slams him down. Surely that's it. 
Guacamole kicks out. He kicked out. How did he find the fortitude to get his shoulder off the mat there? I thought that was done. I thought Fentasaurus had won this match. Oh, he's going again. Drops Fentos on his head, but Fentos just gets back up straight away and hits him with a suplex. I guess all the genius in Fentos' brain is protecting him. Oh, a drop kick to the knee. That is a good move there by Guacamole. Takes the big guy off his feet. But I think it might have just angered him. So he drops a knee onto his back. Both men are getting tired now. Oh, just runs through Guacamole. Both men catching their breaths. This has been a grueling, grueling match. And you've got to think, this is the opening round. How much are these two going to put into this match? Knowing that potentially they could still have two more matches to face. Super kick. Guacamole goes up. Hits him with the fist drop. Can he capitalize? Can he get that cover? Oh, Fentos just counters, drags him into the ring, runs off the ropes. Big splash there, hits the knees in. Oh, Guacamole fires with that fish, creates some distance, but it's not enough, surely. Another line there, puts Guacamole down. Fentos off the ropes, another knee drop. You're going to be peeling Guacamole off the floor. Oh, just... Hutz drives Guac's face into the floor. Surely this is it. There we go. That had to be the victory. That was such an impactful manoeuvre. Guacamole put up an amazing fight, but could not overcome the size difference and the power of Fentos. Fentos picking up the win there after just dominating Guacamole with that sheer size advantage and strength and power. He advances through and will be facing Captain Clothesline in round number two. So let's head down to ringside and catch the next match in this tournament. And you join us here for our third match of episode one, where we have LT Mercer fighting out of the blue corner. LT Mercer, nothing pretty about this guy. He's just pure hate. MMA background. Loves his submissions, loves his dirty tactics, and he is going to be going up against one of the most charismatic men in Full House, El Gran Queso. Not much is known about, known about this guy, but he is definitely a fan favourite here, and some very, very strange things have happened when El Gran Queso has been in the ring. So again, referee for today is Gemma. And we're kicking off. As they go for the lockup, nice fireman takedown there by El Gran Queso. Sends him off the ropes. Oh, misses the crossbody attempt there. Mercer goes straight to the eyes, drives the knee in. Like I say, there's nothing pretty about Mercer's style, but it is very, very effective. Oh, misses the jumping elbow there. For a big man, El Gran Queso does try to use a lot of aerial manoeuvres. Will that be a detriment to him as he's not as quick as some of the smaller guys? But he does like to do a nice high-flying move. Mercer just trying to beat him down, not letting El Gran Queso get any momentum. Whips Mercer off. Oh, Mercer just runs through Queso. Queso almost looks like he's a bit, a bit out of practice. It's like he's a bit confused about what to be doing in the ring. Mercer drives that knee in. Oh, single leg takedown there. That just gives Queso a little bit of breathing space. Mercer just running through Queso. Queso just doesn't know what to do when he sends Mercer off. Mercer with the cover, not even a one count. Gemma taking her time to get over there for that count, though. Mercer just driving those knees. Mercer off the ropes. Drives a knee into Queso's back. Oh, Queso with the palm strike. And with an arm drag takedown. Pulls him into the ring. They go to lock up. Queso with another arm drag takedown. Just draws him in. Feel like, oh, there we go. Bow and arrow. Just stretching out Mercer there. Way too early for a submission, though. Enziguri out of nowhere. This is what Mercer does not want. He doesn't want the unorthodox moves of Queso to start stringing together. Because once a Queso gets going, you cannot predict what he is going to do. 
Oh, Dragon Screw. Again with that bow and arrow stretching out Mercer. But too close to the ropes. Ring positioning has been all over the place in this tournament so far. Finally, Queso hits that flying tackle. But Mercer gets up, reverses with the elbow and drives that knee into the floor. Trying to slow the big man down. That's a good tactic for someone who likes running around. Take those legs away from him. It's going to make his offense a much, much harder to do. Mercer is really dominating here. Queso just can't seem to find that opening. Stretching off now. Mercer is a master of submissions. He will make you hurt in ways that you couldn't even dream of. Oh, big knife head chop. Puts Mercer on the floor and a frog splash from the top. Oh, just like that. It is nearly over. Oh, a low blow. Drives the knee into the floor. How did Gemma not see that? Just suplexes him into the corner. Oh, reversal here. Drives his head in. Drop toe hold. El Gran Queso off the ropes. 6-1-9 through. Doesn't go for the cover though. But goes into a sleeper drop. Can he capitalise? He must still be rink he must still be suffering from that low blow that Mercer did. Mercer picks him up and just drops him. Again, nothing pretty about Mercer's style, but it is effective. As they lock up in reversal into the roll around pin. Mercer's going to get dizzy. This is not something Mercer enjoys being rolled around into the cover. 2.9, so close. El Gran Queso nearly catches Mercer off guard. He goes up to the top row. Big frog splash. No, can't put Mercer down. Mercer just kicks out. Goes for his own cover. Not even a one count. Too close to the ropes. Mercer must be dazed. Death Valley driver. Could that be it? Does he go for the cover? Oh, he just drives his knee down. Again, Gemma is being very lenient here with those, with those illegal moves. Peso into the octopus stretch, into the abdominal stretch even. Mercer just flips him off though. Oh, Mercer hooks onto the ropes there. Mer Queso just throws him to the outside. Now, unlike Fentos, Queso's letting Mercer get back in. Queso doesn't want to brawl on the outside. Double knee stunner there. Goes back to the top rope. Waits for him to stand up. Oh, big shoulder tackle. Goes for the submission. Surely that's enough. Mercer has to give up. The big man comes out on top and defeats LT Mercer. So El Gran Queso picks up the win there with the submission and will be going through to round number two where he will be facing the winner of our next match. Let's head down to ringside and see who that will be. So this is our fourth and final match of the opening round. We have making his way to the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, the monster, Snare. Snare has been around in Full House Wrestling for a long time. Debuted at episode two. And his opponent has a big, tough battle. This is Salsa fighting out of the red corner. Just like his tag team partner, Guacamole, he is giving away a lot of size and strength in this match. He's going to have to be quicker. He's going to have to be smarter. He's going to have to take more risks. Can Salsa overcome the impossible odds here? Again, our referee for today is Gemma. As they go in... They lock up. Oh, Salsa switches. Switches Snare off. But Snare comes back out with a big elbow. Oh, Dragon Screw. Nice move there by Salsa. Working those legs. If you can take that big man off his legs, that equals the size. But the problem is, all it takes is Snare just to get his hands on you. Big delayed suplex. What can, Guacam what, sorry, what can Salsa do to overcome this? He whips him off. Oh, drop kick. But again, Snare just 
doesn't take it. Goes for another one, but Snare punches him in the face. But a nice rolling neck breaker. That's going to slow the big man down a little bit. Drop toe hold. <laughs> Sends him off again. Salsa hooks onto the rope, so he doesn't want to take a big move here. Oh, big spine buster. This could be a quick, quick match. Snare has to be one of the favourites here to walk away with the championship. That is what is at stake. The winner of this tournament will be crowned the Full House Wrestling Champion. The title has been vacant for a while now. Snare working that arm. Snare definitely likes to work the arm. He's got a judo background. Loves his arm locks. So he goes back into that judo katami. But Salsa makes it to the ropes. Oh, another neck breaker. Trying to slow that big guy down. Can barely move him away from the ropes, though. Drops a leg. And you've got to think, is, is anything Salsa doing actually having any effect on, on Snare? He's almost brushing things away like a little gnat. But he is getting a bit angry there. Attacking the eyes. Maybe. Oh, a sliding drop kick. Now that's got to hurt. The full weight of Salsa just sliding into, his, into Snare's head. Snare goes for the cover. Two. But Salsa manages to kick out. Still too early. DDT in the corner. Again, if you, not, you need to hit these moves in the centre of the ring. They lock up. Elbow to the back. Salsa brings him back into the centre. Comes off the rope. Another drop kick to the head. That's what Salsa's got to do. He's got to do these hit and run tactics. Rolled in sent on. He's got to do these hit, quick hit and run tactics. But the problem is Snare catches him and then just hits him with something so big. Salsa desperately trying to get to the ropes here. Manages to break the, break the hold. As Snare rolls through again. You've got to think that's not only the impact of being thrown into the floor. It's the full weight of Snare on you as well. A snare hits that running boot. Oh, there's trading blows here. This is not going to be good for Salsa. Salsa hits the big drop kick, though. He's fired up. Could this be the chance Salsa needs as he throws the big guy out? But snare straight back in. Salsa had to use that time. Oh, they hit the maneuver again. That's a classic Nacho move there. Both Guacamole and Salsa love to drop people on their head. Oh, a lovely counter there from Salsa. That must have confused the big guy. Another DDT. Snare is looking dazed now. This is the opportunity Salsa needed. Oh, misses the, misses the kick. And just gets thrown to the floor. Gemma starts the count. Salsa is a bit dazed on the floor, but gets back in. I don't know if that was a wise move by Salsa. He has a 20 count. He should have used more of that time. Oh, he's hung up in a bad place. He does not want to be here. Snare just pummeling his knees. As he hits that backbreaker. Snare to the top rope. Frog splash from the top. Too close to the ropes, though. Oh, another reversal. Salsa, you've got to be thinking Salsa's getting desperate now. He needs to hit a big, big move. He hits that Rainmaker. <laughs> then he hits this shining in wizardy enziguri -y thing. But Snare, oh, he gets out of the get. Oh, I thought Salsa was building him into them as he avoided the suplex. But Snare has followed him to the outside. But a nice counter there by Salsa takes the big man off his feet. Oh, no, he just... Draws him in. Who's this? It's Fentos. What is Fentos doing here? Why is Fentos making his way to the ring? Snare has a chair. They're both back in. Fentos gets in the ring. What is going on? Fentos is attacking Salsa. Why is Fentos attacking Salsa? How is Gemma letting this go? Salsa is fighting for his life now. But he's got Fentos and Snare both attacking him as he's desperately trying to fight just to survive. These, this is not where Salsa needs to be. You've got to ask yourself, why is Guacamole not here making the save? Why is Gemma letting this happen? Can Salsa possibly get out of this in one piece? Where is Guacamole? Where is El Gran Queso? 
the nachos normally stick together. But Salsa is still fighting. He's still hitting moves. Finally, Gemma gets control and sends Bentos back. Bentos is now leaving the ring and Salsa hits a big move. Doesn't go for the cover though. We've got a chair in the ring. Brass knocks. Snare gets a public warning. Puts him hanging them up in the corner again. Again, this is not where Salsa wants to be. How is Salsa still alive? Fall away slam. Right onto that chair as well. It's in the corner. Surely this is just a matter of time now. Salsa with a runner into the pin. He wins. How did Salsa get the victory? He defeats Snare after the interference with Bentos. How did he find the fortitude to come up with that victory? So despite the interference of Bentos, Salsa still managed to pick up that victory over Snare and will be advancing through to next round to face on his teammate, El Gran Queso. So the first round is over. We know the four combatants who are through to the second round. We have got Captain Clothesline taking on Bentos and Salsa facing his teammate, El Gran Queso. Let's get our first match and head down to ringside. So this is our first match in round two. Fighting out of the blue corner. He is the professional pirate, Captain Clothesline. Defeated Rob Rose in the first round. Is now going against the big man, Fentos. Again, one of the wrestlers with the most heart I've ever seen. It is so hard to get this guy to give up or to be pinned. But if there's anyone here in Full House that could do it, this man definitely has a good chance. Fentos getting his victory over Guacamole in the first round and then making an appearance in Snares and Salsa match. Fentos definitely has some personal right with the nachos. Gemma is our referee for this match and we are off. Oh, Professional Pirate comes in with some gut shots and an elbow drop. Cut two elbow drops to the back of the head of the big guy. Nice arm drag takedown off the ropes. Drops the elbow. Oh, Fentos reverses it though. And oh, big slam. That is the problem here. The speed of Captain Clothesline. He can hit these hits. And then Fentos just comes in with some big moves. And it takes all the wind out of his sails. Big drop kick though. But you've got to think, Captain Clothesline is already in trouble. He's taken some big moves. And those clubbing forearm blows. Oh, reverse suplex. And let's not forget, Captain Clothesline had a, had a very hard fight in that first round against the Earl of Excellence. But he is doing his best here, trying to wear down the big guy. Whips him into the corner, follows up. Hangs him up in the corner. Just elbows those knees as they lock up again. Oh, what's Ventos going to do? Brings him up, runs him into the... Oh, just flies him into the corner, gesturing that that's over. You've got to think Captain Clothesline's in a lot of trouble already as Ventos comes off the ropes. Big lariat. Captain Clothesline desperate there with a little trip takedown, just trying to, like, cut off Ventos. Fentos momentum there. Gets that sneaky little roll up. Didn't really think he wants... Didn't I don't think Captain Close aren't expected to get the cover. I think that was more just to try and slow the big guy down. The big guy was building momentum and you need to break that. Big knee to the head though. Some clubbing forearms. The captain is struggling here to get underway. But he hits that cutter. This could be the opening he needs. He remembering that last... But he hits that captain's hook. That's what he beat Rob Rose with. But Fentos was too close to the ropes. Oh, big brain buster. No, Captain spins through. Hits the neck breaker. Fentos is down. Fentos is down. That's not somewhere I expected to see the big guy this, at this point in the match. Oh, gets whipped into the corner again. Fentos slowly walks up. 
Brings him up. He's going to drive him into the other corner again. KG brings professional pirate back up. Comes off for the ropes. Another lariat. Yes. Nails him with that lariat. Captain just trips him over and stamps him in the chest. Drops the elbow. Goes for that chop but misses. It's almost like he's just firing blindly at the big guy now. As he's in that submission manoeuvre. Can the captains hold on? Like I said, the captain has a lot of fight in him. I don't think I've ever... Oh, he's a roll-up! Out of nowhere! Gemma doesn't even get over there, though, for the count. Gemma was out of position there. That is not good. Ventos runs in, but captain moves. Oh, big face plant there. Oh, elbow counter. Captain's going up. He's got to take these risks. Rolling. Rolling sent on. Onto the back of Fentos. Misses the cutter though. The captain is very wild with those cutters. But hits the guillotine leg drop. Goes back up. Waiting for Fentos to get up. Oh, big cross body. But right in the ropes. Rips Fentos. Gemma goes down. Fentos and Gemma collide. Gemma is down. It looks like Gemma's bleeding there. This is not good. No one is in control of this match now. We need to get another referee out of here. As Captain hits that stunner. Gemma's trying to get back to her feet. But she's definitely bleeding. Gemma's back up. Ventos hits another line. Whips the Captain off again. Oh, just a sidewalk slam. Whips him in. Misses the lariat. Ventos is getting tired. Just punches the captain in the face. Needs a moment to catch his breath though. Can't capitalise. He's going to hit him with that big move. Just drives his face into the floor. But right into the ropes. As he goes for the cover. Gemma comes in to make the count. And it's a three count. Ventos picks up the victory over Captain Clothesline. It's a very, very good victory there by Fentos, showing a lot of dominance. Now let's get a medic out there and hope that Gemma the ref is okay. So Fentos picks up the victory there despite a gallant effort by the captain to progress through to the final. Who will he be facing in the final match for that championship? Will it be Salsa? Will it be El Gran Queso? Let's go find out. So this is going to be an interesting match. We have, from the Cheesy Nachos, El Gran Queso taking on his tag partner. Also from the Cheesy Nachos, Salsa. These two guys know each other well. This is going to be a fight to remember. These guys train together, they travel together, they know each other well. And the winner of this match will be meeting Fentos in the final. You've got to think Salsa really, really wants to get there. After what Fentos did in Salsa's match against Snare. Okay, let's see. Gemma is our referee for today. She's been cleared by the medical, medical team after what happened in that match with Fentos. And Captain Clothesline. I'm expecting a nice, clean, technical match here. Both of these guys like each other. But then again, we have got the Full House Wrestling title on the line. That means a lot. When will friendships get thrown out the window here? What will they do to each other in their desperate bid to try and become the champion? Oh, Queso just counters. Queso's going up to the top rope already. Misses that frog splash. That was a risky move at this stage of the game to go up to the top rope. Salsa whips him into the corner. Comes in. Misses. Oh, whips him in though. Oh, just a rolling kick there. Okay, both guys just trying to feel each other out still. Salsa through the legs. Both missing there with a kick and a slap. Oh, goes up and over. Oh, a nice runner. 
takes Salsa off. Queso drops the elbow into the pin. Two. Only a two count though, still early on. Salsa with a big jumping headbutt. Oh, rolls through. One. Just a one count, still too early. Nice spinning neck breaker. Salsa getting a bit of momentum here. Queso needs to stop this. He needs to stop Salsa building up that pace. And he does by taking him into the corner. Big move coming up. Sits him onto the top turnbuckle. Goes up. Oh, but Salsa counters with a DDT from that second rope. Surely he should have gone for the pin. Spinning heel kick. Takes Queso down. You know Salsa is fighting to get to that final. He is fighting to face Fentasaurus to try and get some retribution here. After what happened in that last match. Backslide. Gemma comes in. Close. Like you can see, it's a nice clean match here. Exchanging blows a little bit. It's not really what Salsa wants to be doing. And the big guy takes him down. Hits that frog splash into the corner. Oh, just throw Salsa to the floor. I think Queso's getting a little bit frustrated. Threw him out the ring. But he stepped back. I think he's realised what he did. He's not going to take it any further. Salsa counters with that rib punch. Oh, Dragon Screw takes Salsa off his feet. Queso picks him back up again. Locking up. Salsa with a DDT. Both men are starting to get fatigued now. Oh... Plants him down, face first into that canvas. But Queso gets up, whips him off. Big Superman punch. So he gestures out to the crowd that something big's coming up. Another frog splash. That is it. El Gran Queso defeats Salsa and will be going through to the final to meet Fentos to become the Full House Wrestling Champion. So El Gran Queso hits that frog splash from the top rope, hitting Salsa for the three count, which means we now know who the final match will be between. Fentos will go up against El Gran Queso to decide the next Full House Wrestling Champion. So we have El Gran Queso going up against Fentos and we will be crowning a new Full House Wrestling Champion. But before we get down to the action, let's take a look how both the men got here. So the time is nearly upon us. History is about to be made. A new Full House Wrestling Champion will be crowned. Who will it be? Let's head down to ringside and find out. So here we are. We are at our final to crown the new Full House Wrestling Champion. Making his way to the ring and fighting out of the blue corner, we have the mathematical genius, Fentos. So Fentos has never held any, any championships in full house before. 
This will be his first reign if he can overcome the gentleman making his way to the ring and fighting out of the red corner. He is El Gran Queso. Again, Queso has never held a championship in full house wrestling. Whoever wins this match will be starting a new era of their career as the full house wrestling champion. Our referee for this important match is Gemma. As we go in, I think both men are going to be fighting Cagey here. Two big, big people. Big suplex there. Both of these guys are going to hit hard. But the one thing we've got to separate them is El Gran Queso will do a lot more unorthodox moves. Will take a little bit more risk than the big guy. Is that going to pay off? Or is he going to come crashing down? Oh, straight into a submission. He's trying to get this over quick. But too close to the ropes. Fentos just gets himself back there. Dragon screw. Good plan with that big guy. Take his pins out. Goes into that bow, bow and arrow lock. But Fentos kicks his way out. Way too early to get a submission. But they're just feeling each other out. Oh, Salsa. Salsa's making his way to the ring. Surely Fentos was to expect this. Fentos interfered in Salsa's match. Now Salsa is here. Comes in with that spinning kick. Trying to get some retribution on the big man. Oh, just drives with the knee. Again, Gemma's being very lenient here. Picks up the big guy, but Salsa just kicks him in the head. Boots him in the face. Drops that leg. Ventos is definitely in trouble. Gemma's letting this go. Big move there on Salsa. Oh, the big knee drop there. Oh, both the nachos are down. Goes for the cover, but Salsa just boots him off. Hits him with that cutter. El Gran Queso picks him up. Double team. Double team. 3D. Into the cover. 2.9. Ventos manages to get out. Gemma gets control. Sends Salsa back to the locker room. But Ventos, you've got to believe, is in trouble now. Slips through, picks the big guy up, plants him down into the pin. 2.9, Two. Two that was a close, close fall. These two are so big, they hit so hard. This match is just a slobber knocker. And this can't go long. The amount of punishment they've already put each other through. With the clubbing blows. This is just gruesome. I would hate to be in here with either of these two. They're just slugging each other. Oh, big spinning lariat from both guys. And they're both down. You just can't appreciate the impact these two are having. Back into that dragon sleeper. Kicks out. Locking up again. Sends Ventos into the corner. Is he, he runs in. Big punching forearm. Picks him up, drives him back in. Goes up. Frog splash. Too close to the ropes, though. Oh, just plants the big guy down. But again, too close to the ropes. I think Ventos might be a bit confused here after that beating from two men. I think he still might be a little bit dazed. Definitely, definitely a lot have been taken out of him. He's catching his breath. He's trying to hit these big moves. Drives El Gran Queso down. Is that it? No, he picks him back up again. Comes from behind. Just clubs him back down again. Drops the elbow. Queso can't take many moves like that if he wants to win this match. Sends him off. Just misses Gemma. Gemma. Big pop-up cutter. Queso dragging him in. Goes to the top rope. Big frog splash. Bringing Fentos back up again, locking up. Brings the arm through into the submission, but right in the ropes. Again, ring positioning is so important. The problem is you take a few hits to your head and you start getting a bit confused, you're a bit dazed. You might not always notice where you are in that ring. One, two, three. It's a three count! The frog splash! Fentos has been defeated. Our new Full House Wrestling Champion is El Gran Queso. So there we have it. El 
Lord Grand Peso picks up the victory, and you've got to imagine Fentos is not happy about Salsa making that appearance, but really, you've got to ask yourself, could he expect anything else? But El Gran Queso is the Full House Wrestling Champion. Who will he be defending that title against in episode 2? Keep your eyes posted on this channel to find out. So make sure you head down and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like. But until episode 2, catch you later. Bye.